What do you want? We're stopping in, I don't even know where we're at, Arizona. Stopping to get some fuel on our way to camp. <sighs> this is the longest trip ever. <laughs> it's been a long drive. It's been a long drive, but look at this weather. Turn that around. Look at the blue skies, white clouds. Can't complain about that, so we'll just keep trekking on. Dude, I've had no luck with the gas pumps on this trip. No? Yes? Please, just give me gas. Interior zip, got past that one, tricked it. Guys, we are uh, we are on our final, the uh, home stretch of the trip to where we're going. We're probably 30 minutes away, maybe 40, and I'm, I have no expectations. Uh, never hunted big game in Arizona. I used to come, to, me and my dad uh, have hunted quail down here uh, a few times back in the day, but never big game hunted in, in Arizona. And I've never, definitely never hunted coos deer. But guys, the state of Arizona is a wonderful place. It is an opportunistic state. If you're looking just to get out and hunt, it is January. I'm a Western guy, I'm from Idaho. All our hunts are over. January, you can come down to the state of Arizona. You can get an over-the-counter deer tag, one tag, and you can hunt coos or mule deer with your bow. We're gonna be hunting coos deer, javelina, quail, maybe some ducks, Cuda Monday, Coyotes. Arizona's awesome. This is everything I hoped for. I said I want to stay in a place that's made out of mud. Stuck up. Also known as an adobe. Look at those grills. Found it. Look at that thing. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. We made it. And we are a long ways from home, guys. This is going to be a fun week of hunting. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. Look, Casey's interested. We can cook on that. Don't have one of these at my house yet. Put the coals underneath there and just grill. Dude, that is awesome. Case. Fire. Is that the spot? I think we found the spot. I don't even know if this is really where we're supposed to be staying, but we're going to stay here. Dude, all the knocks. A lot of sunlight. I like this room. Oh, my favorite spider plants. I have a spider plant at my house and I love it so much because it reminds me of my mom. What she always had that? spider plants. Spider plants? Oh yeah. They'll hang down and if you just put that in dirt right there, it'll root and grow. Really? This place is cool. Coolest plants ever. Come into our room, check it out. We got the four, four bedroom. No way. Four beds. What? Sick. Dang. I call that mine. No. <laughs> Nice. Might have to take a nap, guys, before we get after it. Dude, the temps are perfect. Right? Yeah, this is cool. Well, we went upstairs oh. to go back downstairs. We got a little pad. Holy cannoli. This place is you built go outside through this for a door. lot of folks. Somebody used that one. You got a cop. There's, There's like a dozen people that would be staying in this house. <laughs> and probably like 10 people with tags. So hopefully somebody can get a coos deer. Just welcome to the jungle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> got one. <laughs> in the Dude. black room. How money is that though, huh? So the whole funny thing, everyone in Dude, Arizona, especially my close friends, laugh at me because I've, I've never glassed off a tripod. So out here where there's a lot of wide open space, especially the Arizona crowd, they love to glass off a tripod with binoculars. I've never done it. So this is kind of the new setup we have for this trip. These are the Kaibab 18s? Yeah. Oh, by the way, hold on. If you're like, yeah, 18s are a little much for my taste. Mm -hmm. those. And you just uh, yeah, real fancy. Put the 10 by 50s on. Let's see what's out there with these. But he needs oh. to flip his around so his bar's not in the way, yeah, but he, he won't do it. He hasn't gone full. He's new. He's a rookie. He's a rookie of this Arizona glassing. Gosh, that's going to be real nice. Did you bring a glassing chair, though? <laughs> Duh. We are going to do what we like to do best, and that is sit behind the Vortex optics and glass for animals. And Eric's going to be out calling coyotes because he thinks he's a predator hunter. Yep. Guys, we're in Arizona. We're going to fling some carbon. We're going to send some, some, some eastern arrows downrange. We asked... Randy and we're like, hey man, we really want to 
a, get a broadhead target, shoot when we're at camp. He's like, oh, don't worry, I got a, ca a target. <laughs> it's like a milk carton. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are going to stay and shoot, and uh, Logan and I are going to go on an adventure. I'm too excited to wait any longer. We're going to go try two call on some coyotes. Have you ever done that, Logan? Never done it. I've never done it on my own, so this will actually be the first time to try to call in a coyote. So we're just gonna grab a couple things, make a quick hike. Off right here is private property. South of here is all public land. Uh, I'm actually downloading the map on my Onyx maps right now. We're just gonna hike over the skyline, make a stand and see what happens. We're gonna use the lucky duck and uh, I think that we're gonna get some coyotes in. Maybe. How do I look? Dang, Profesh dude. coyote hunter. I got the call. Garrett and Micah lent me this for this trip. Thank you guys. And then I got Casey's first light custom dipped Weatherby 257. I shouldn't say custom, they offer this on their website. Yeah. So we're gonna go right behind the house, try to call some coyotes. A couple of things I think we have in favor, our favor is the wind. We have good wind and this is all private right here. There's just always coyotes around like ranches and horses and cows and private land. There's water typically. So we're just gonna go right over here to public land, make a stand and uh, hope for the best. So let's go. So. I'm no expert, but I've learned a lot hunting with my buddies and watching their films. I think we're going to just hike over this first rise and it looks like there must be a valley behind there and I think we'll just post up there. Dude, if we get one, it's going to be like epic. Yeah, I won't even believe it if we get one. See ya. See ya. <laughs> we're going to go hunt. Stay. the wind in our favor we're gonna find good cover and give us a try there we go guys I just set the call up down there about not very far from this set it up in some bushes so it gets elevated and gets a sound out there but we're gonna post up in this shade I'll probably have you uh, tighten up to me a little bit Logan. If you see a coyote, just kiss to me and I'll do the same. So, if you see one, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna get my uh, stopwatch on. And call for like one to two minutes and then let it rest for a little while. crows will always watch the coyotes and I kind of thought when they came in that maybe they were following a coyote but we didn't see anything if anything came in we didn't never saw it this bottom is pretty thick but that is my first attempt at calling in coyotes on my own and we didn't get one but I'm gonna make it happen on this trip that's my goal this one? That looks like a lookout. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Guys, we just acquired our first um, goose deer. These are crazy. It's like, looked like it was that big. Miniature. But it's a doe. Our tags are only good for bucks. But uh, we're just getting out, guys. We're going to check out this country. It's beautiful. It's crazy. It's different. It's new. All the above, but we're gonna go try to get up high or we can see 360 degrees around us. And we're gonna glass and glass and glass. And then maybe hike over a hill and do some, do some more glass. Where's he? Down by that chain Where's the private start, then? Let's scoot up the canyon and see if we can. They don't seem very skittish. Hmm. 
This looks a lot like where I got my coos deer. That canyon. Yellow, yellow grass, but that some that trees and some green brush where down in the desert it seemed like everything was just kind of no leaves for the winter. Up here it's a lot more green, more brush, more bushes that still have leaves. Provides a lot more cover for the deer and we're already seeing a lot more. We've seen five within, we've seen six actually within the last probably mile stretch. It's gonna be good. You could say we're in the zone. standing and we glassed around we couldn't see any other deer as soon as she busted two more deer popped up i think we're gonna try to get up to this peak and just glass there's so much country you could just see for miles and miles over here but we got quite the gang of border patrol up on that high point so it's crazy Casey and Logan are currently in position. Eric and I have been glassing up here. Lost the buck for a little bit, but he just snuck out of the bottom and he's still rutting really hard. Kind of bouncing around between, I don't know, I would say three or four does that we can see. Let's cross your fingers. Hopefully stock number one pans out for Casey. He's got great wind and he's got pretty good topography. We'll see how it goes. Wish us luck. draw back on that buck. BMAC and I just set up here on this high point which we're actually pretty stoked on. This high point right here you can see so much country. 
we started glassing, glassing, and I caught a two point coming out of the draw, just a little further south of where they were. And he was just bird dogging, like his nose to the ground, and he just ran. BMAC happened to just keep following him, and he ended up running into two bucks and a doe, and the one buck is big. Big daddy? Yeah, he'd have your typical big daddy fat stacks busted right side buck. Anyways, the perfect typical frame, which is eye guards and then three points, including the main beam. He's got all of that on his left, but his right side just seems to be short. I'm guessing it's broke, but big eye guards, big G2s, big G3s, nice beams. 100 incher if I had to guess, which is a good buck. So I think we're going to come back here tomorrow. Look at this though. Is that awesome or what? It's gorgeous out here, guys. It's really cool country. I'm not sure how you guys enjoyed that last section, but we sure had a good time. Literally don't know where we're at. Uh, everybody that we were sharing camp with was already out hunting today because of our late arrival. So we just found a road. Uh, I had saved a bunch of maps on Onyx, so threw it in airplane mode, looked for a place that could get us into a zone that didn't have a lot of road traffic. And after taking a hike, how cool is that? Casey got us, uh, he was at full draw first afternoon and we saw a ton of coos deer right towards the end of the day after they were hiking up eric and i spotted that really stud buck so i think we're going to try to come back here um unless somebody persuades us otherwise but beautiful country the whole objective of this series guys is just to show you what's out here for these over-the-counter tags in in arizona <laughs> every time it's PowerPoint. not casey it's PowerPoint. it's eric um but yeah this is just show you what's here tons of opportunity and all you have to do is go to a store preferably not walmart don't go there chances are gonna be a little bit painful but go get yourself a hunting license standard non-resident license if you're not a resident a deer tag that's all you need and you can be out here chasing coos deer in january with your bow lots of other game species that we are going to talk about we ran into some guys that are falconry so they uh let these they have falcons that they use to hunt ducks and stuff don't know all the details of that but it sounds pretty cool essentially glass for birds on like a pond jump them up let their falcons go yeah, falcons. <laughs> catch the ducks <laughs> It's gonna be a long week, guys. <laughs> <laughs>